perception. Uh, yes. The, uh, this season, you're getting to shoot some in, in in Paris. We shot the season premiere in Paris, which was amazing. That's gonna be uh, what, what a great well, thing to get to do. And, and my character has paranoid schizophrenia, so he's he's in Paris. He's imagining government agents everywhere, and we're we're on the street. I mean, it, it was like the born supremacy, except without any car chases or guns or any actual espionage. Right. <laughs> Anything that would be expensive it was to shoot. Exactly. <laughs> 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 it was, it's born but just like mind, looking at postcards. <laughs> um, so, uh, so and, and you have uh, scenes with, with mimes. And, you, and what's interesting, you have a scene with a mime, and, I'm, and I know that you had worked or studied to be a mime at one point, or you had to study uh, mime. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been trying to bring mime back to American television for some time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, got, I finally got to do it with this episode of Perception. I studied it in, in school. We, I, I went to theater school in Canada, and we had this famous mime teacher. That's a, that's a relative term. I don't think, I don't know how many. Famous of, mime teacher. I don't teacher. know how many of those Is that how he refers are. to himself? He let us know. I'm the famous mime teacher. <laughs> Except he doesn't actually say it, right? He's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Well, we were all in tights, this whole class. We were doing Commedia dell'arte one day, and there's one guy who was in my class. I won't name names. He's a little guy, but not all of them was little. Some of them was very, very big. And in tights, it was pretty clear. And, uh, and we were doing... He'd, he'd probably like it if you said his name. I just... <laughs> it's like, I won't say his name. He might be in prison now, and you don't want to spread that rumor when someone's in prison. But... Um, if he's in prison, they've found out they've by all, now. They've already figured it out. This took a dark turn. <laughs> Back to you and the guy with it's the giant. It's gonna get darker. So we were doing yeah. Commedia dell'arte scenes, and the teacher, after, at the end, he said, "You were very good with the with the slapstick, and you your movements fantastic. And you, young man, you were wearing he, he was wearing a codpiece, and and that was very popular at the time." And uh, my friend went, well, "I wasn't wearing a codpiece," and the teacher went, "Well, congratulations, old boy." <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. Well done. Uh, we have a, cl uh, a clip here. I believe this uh, we involves. Have a mime clip. We have a we mime, have a mime clip. clip. This is a, uh, this is the, right outside Notre Dame. We actually got to. This is the mime of Notre Dame. Is what let's take. Is. Let's take a look at this clip from Perception. You, you, hey, hey, you, hey, you. You, you, you've been here all day. Did you see anyone fiddling around with the cobblestones on, on the ground over there? I know, you, you can't talk, but this is a police matter. Do you understand? Vous comprenez ce que je dis? C'est important. Dites-moi ce que vous avez-vous. Dr. Pierce, who are you talking to? That's the most frustrating nightmare to try and get valuable information out of the mind. From a French mind. Although it is, there's a happy ending when you realize that a mime isn't really there. You know, it's kind of a relief. You're relieved. I mean, oh, relief. thank God. Yeah. They don't, they're not letting that it's mime It's just speak. my broken <laughs> brain. <laughs> <laughs> Better to have a broken brain right. than see a real mime. <laughs> I think it's a lesson there.